into Le Pin, but here's Hansen's shot and the first real save for Shane Owen. And here we go, we predicted it. Guy Le Pin wears 28, Matt Pelic 17. Not a hair between them, not going to matter. As they're grappled up just on the blue line there, Le Pin gets a right hand in and looks for another one and a couple. He's got him on the back foot. Guy Le Pin going at Matt Pelic. More right hands from the Panthers man. Yeah, it's a great tilt there. Two, two big tough warriors. You see the respect between them there. The two captains. Julian Talbot and then Kevin Carr back in position to hold on. Go on, Tets! Bobby Farnham and Josh Tetlow. Got at least a foot on him as Tetlow. Much longer reach as well. Couple of rides yes, by Tets! the big man. Sends him to the deck. And then Farnham loses his helmet. And that's a brave pick from the Giants, 46. Pelic. Goes past a couple, puts it towards the net. It's off the back and an awkward run and just away. Giants tag the blue line. And a cross ice pass for Quist. But he has hit hard at the blue line. We all enjoy an open ice hit. And... The captain certainly delivering that one on that occasion. That's going to go the whole way through, though, for an icing call. Math to get involved. Long getting hopped up here with Hamannick. And the Grunter oh, drop. Kieran Long and Hamannick going at it. Great play from the Giants, number 89, to take an import and a scrap. And a couple of rights being thrown by both players. There's a little bit off camera as well. The man goes down. A little bit of a tap in the pads for both of them there. Good play from Kieran Long to step up and support his teammates. And the physicality and the, well, the fans the at fans the SS Arena it. have ramped themselves up here tonight. Yeah, Palmberg, one of the most skilled guys in the league there. Kieran Long coming in to protect him. It's a good fight. He gets the early lead on it. Let's get a chance to see if we can see what happened in the background there. I'm not too sure if the camera picked it up, but Ben pa Lake Palmberg doing a great was job. Looking, uh, Palmberg was looking for the guy that... Um, I think that was behind. But it all started from behind the play. Kukor and Palmberg were having a bit of go each other coming out of the zone. Paul Camp in the slot. Clean face off win there from Critchlow. Real battle here, Kieran Long and Critchlow having a conversation and, and behind the uh, feed that you were getting there on the screens. Long, a good hit from Declan Palmer coming together there along with Jordan Smotherman. Smotherman not happy with that hit and he's dropped the gloves. Jordan Smotherman and Declan Palmer. A couple of rights coming in from Smotherman. Palmer with a right hand of his own. A big hit from Smotherman once again, he's trying to get the lid off with an uppercut there again. Right hand from Smotherman. The crowd are on their feet here at the SSC Arena. It's been a while since there's been a coming together. Little top there from the players, but gets the energy going in the building, Johnny. You hear that crowd. <laughs> you see the, the uh, appreciation for the Belfast crowd for a bit of fisticuffs. Sounds missing that from years gone by when Adam Keith. Adam drop Keith, once yeah, he's, he's had a, a few scraps in here. Let's see if we can get a chance of a replay on that occasion. If we can, we'll probably get it at the end of the yeah, well second period. It was building period. right before that. You know, Kieran Long mixing it up just previous to that. What did you make of the hit from, from Declan Palmer? I thought it was decent, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't see much in it. I mean, uh, I, again, right before that, uh, maybe uh, Kieran Long got away with it a little bit. I think the, the Dan Ulmer play. looking for a uh, extra penalty here and her we will bring that to you in just a second. We'll try and get the action off that fight and the end of the first period highlights. Chance there from the blue line. Phil, it should have been an offside call and we are back at five on five. Definitely the Belfast Giants enjoyed the most of that coincidental penalty there and the gloves will come off between the two. We heard that little exchange earlier, it led to the penalties, the crowd on their feet. Tempers boiling over here at the Storm Shelter. Tapoy with the takedown, but both sides, both players throwing punches there. And as you can hear, the crowd on their feet, that's really got the crowd going. As both players head off the ice, you imagine that that's due to there being three minutes left in the period, but we saw it just before that penalty, we saw the two exchanging words, the two come together 
you really should have known that probably was going to happen as soon as that penalty came in but you can hear both sets of feet that's really got both fans need to be careful coming out of the penalty box as it goes back to the neutral zone and Beauregard has spent his two minutes in the box there's Dupuis, Dupuis has dropped the gloves and Pierce are going to go for it Pierce took a whack at Jean Dupuis, Dupuis already had one fight this year with Matthew Gagnon, a couple of rights coming in Pierce is ragged all down a much bigger and Dupuis is really not happy with it he's still going to town on him Pierce has been asking for it all evening in Furness and the Giants fans are on their feet here at the SSE Arena Dicko yeah I'm just watching that uh, usually uh, as we know the code when you go down that's when the, the punches stop but Jean Dupuis can't feed them when he was on the ice there and here we go we knew it was going to happen because Pellich Pellich and Lewis both had that intensity down in the tunnel and now Pellic goes for Lewis at center right. Lewis only too happy to oblige. A left hand from Lewis. He caught Pellic on the back skate. Now they're both throwing right hands into the side of the head and Pellic throws a few body shots. He's got the elbow pad off and Pellic's trying to spin Lewis. They're going to reset. These are two tough hombres right at center ice at SSC Arena. Pellic and Lewis trying to send a message the helmet comes off of Pellet. she spins Lewis again but Lewis tries to go to the left hand and they're going to hold on and with eight minutes gone in the first period Pellet sending down the marker good scrap there pretty even be careful there was no whistle on the play they let it keep going and you had Farnham after Dixon you had Pellet after Dixon now Lewis and center ice a big scrap now between Pellet and Lewis take two they went last and SSC Arena, big right hands from Lewis. Pellic has lost the helmet. He's holding on with that left, trying to stretch out big Lewis. Right hand from Pellic. Big right hand from Lewis. Two tough competitors at center. As you knew something was going to happen when Farnham went after Dixon. Pellic and Lewis, they were happy to do it last week, happy to do it this week. Pellic holding on again, trying to string out Lewis. But Lewis has that jab, that left hand that can catch the chin. He surprised Pellich at the start of the fight last week. Right now, holding on, and Lewis, look at Lewis chatting the whole way through with Pellich. They give each other a little tap on the back, but Pellich and Lewis right at center ice, and Lewis saluting the crowd there, saying, yeah, we're on our way. Another big scrap between Lewis and Pellich, and what a second period here in Viola Arena. Kevin Rain as he fades in inside for Laporte. Laporte tries to dodge Ben Lake and takes hit. Lick into the wall, a big hit from Laporte. That's one thing that you'd mentioned before the game, really bows for his teammates every single time. Yeah, he likes to get in there and, and lay the body sometimes. I've, I've seen a couple instances this period though, he's, he's been pretty frustrated. I think that was more of a frustrated play than, uh, than, than more of a, a, a battling for his teammates. Than Gets it, brought one time effort from Bram Ward right on the stickers. A bobble and puck in front and a real battle here between Springer and Pierce and Springer taking up a little bit. Not happy with the way driving the front of the net. Just doing what any good defenseman does. Protecting his young goalie, that's important. To Richardson, there's a real battle going on right in front of Shane Owen. He throws it goalward, it goes round behind with the ricochet. Lake picks it up, a collision between Riley and Morgan. He's going after him. And he's not happy with it, Morgan again. Larry Riley not happy with that at all. Riley and Morgan are going to drop their gloves. Liam Morgan and Blair Riley. A much bigger player than Blair Riley, but Morgan gets a couple of rights in. Riley with a couple of rights. That's center ice. The helmet comes off Morgan. The people are on their feet at the SSC Arena. The hell of the jersey coming over in fair play to Blair Riley. You see them in a vulnerable position. And the arena absolutely erupts. Kicking right off. That was a good fight from both guys there. Morgan with a couple early in that landed, and Riley uh, coming to with a few at the end. But the crowd are loving this, and this is what the team wants. With the exclusion off Hamilton from the game, a shot from distance, an easy save. A little bit after is in front here, Liney. And I think that's Cody Thompson having a bit of a conversation. And the gloves oh, are the dropped goal and here the we goal. go. Thompson gets the right in. Thompson's got... Liney with a right, or loses his balance back up on his feet again. Again, both players just can't get set there. 
Well, it was a bit of something out of nothing. Learn he had a hold of the linesman as well. I don't know whether he was trying to get his balance or not, but... Uh... You know what? You talk about hockey, you talk about the fighting being taken out of the game. As soon as they started fighting, everybody's on their feet. Inter I, I don't get it. We talked about these guys who are doing the documentary behind you, and interesting that Dave, who's running it, was asking me about the fights in the game. Obviously a question that a lot of people who don't follow hockey ask you, is there a lot of fighting in the game? And I was saying that maybe not as no, nowhere near as much as there used to be. But uh, good to see a bit of passion from both players. Obviously Storm away from home trying to get that passion, trying to fire up their own side. Great wall, under pressure. Giants enter the zone. The point calls for it. Lovely little poke check. Clan, big hit there. And there's going to be a penalty on that. And Farnham's not happy about it. He's asking if he wants to, if Scott Pitt wants to go. Not really known as a dangerous player, Scott Pitt. Has to spin his way around there and sends it forward. Swindle has to. Oh, cut that out again. Cowder. And penalty call there on Pelic, no question of that. Guval not happy with Pelic. Guval's dropped his stick. Pelic has dropped the gloves, we're going to have a fight here. Oh yes. What's he missing a while? Pellich and Goodwald. And there'll be fives for those two, but there'll be an additional penalty. Good pressure by the Giants on the four track. And there's a fight happening. Over near the Zamboni doors, it's Pelic and Gagnon. There's certainly a heavyweight clash happening later tonight with a Fury fight. Gagnon loses his footing, gets it back up. And they're going at it now. The linesmen are in there. Should these two guys tire? Gagnon's managed to get his swinging arm loose. Pelic throws in a couple. Oh well, that was a <laughs> that was a ding dong battle for these two. So we say Goliaths of the game. You can brother this raw. Both sides, both sets of fans appreciative of of that tilt. I wonder if uh, Mr. Nolan's watching this at home. Somebody think of the children. Needless to say, those two chaps will be having a, a sit-down rest now. We'll wait to see uh, what the officials dish out on the clocks. There's still a few latecomers coming through the doors here actually tonight. And they've just missed the doozy. Face off one by Again, that's Pellet sacrificing his body, getting down, blocking that. Here we go. Here we go. We've seen this already this season. Both of these, Pellet and Pellet, uh, Lapine, 
The Fiend's got a good grip there. Got one in. Two big guys. Lapine looking like he's got the upper hand at the moment. He'll think it was about that exact same spot earlier in the season as well. Where Big Guy Lapine did get Pellet down. Fans now chanting Guy Lapine. Yeah, that's a good bout though. Again, the two captains, two big boys there. And yeah, you know, Pellets with a big hit on Sam, uh, sorry, big hit on the captain, Sam Hare. And, you know, Luffy jumps in. That's one of his roles here. Next pass there from Curtis, Curtis Leonard, my apologies. Coming together inside. It's going to be an offside though. Little lofters there from Bobby Farnham. Gets tied up, Davy Phillips. There's going to be a penalty on the play here. And things are getting a little spicy at the end of the first period. It'll be interesting to see what way Hogarth He's goes here. For him. He's yeah, calling for him. Yeah, and you know what? I actually think that's fair. I think that's fair. And that, for me, you've got to take somebody else. Not sure, man. Hey, I think Farnham... He's taking it Davy Phillips as well. Okay, okay. I think Farnham definitely was going looking that. Davy Phillips... Well, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's not taking Farnham. And he's taking... Oh. Is he putting them as well? The Giants, there's a second chance on the bar play. If they, make it, if they make it clear to the uh, the watching public or the commentators, it makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? So I, the chance are on a power play. Davy Phillips come in. I wouldn't have had a problem with Bobby getting that I penalty. Was, I was going to say, there must have been so, a precursor to that. There must have been that, that uh, you and I didn't see.